Hello all and welcome to Zelene channel. So as per you see on the title, I got my first purple card. So do, 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 do. where is it? Here, see. It's a purple one <laughs> from Drabba. So I got my first purple card from Skeleton this morning. And in this video here, I'm just gonna flex it. Um yeah, I actually flex it for the whole morning to my goodies, but let me just flex it on my YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, so the thing that about this purple cut, let, let me just put another card in here as temporarily. So, purple cut, if you are a free to play or low spender like um, me, so if you go to the trade shop and go to the auctions, you always see there's, there's a skeleton worker cards available here, but usually um, during the opening auctions time it gonna like hit up to around like 1.1.3 1. 1. or even like higher so like it depends on what server you are usually it's more than 1.3 million um yeah so it's kind of hard to get but uh you have the chance to get it from the drop from the mobs drop which i did so if you click into the monster archive skelly i haven't hit the pity because i just farmed skelly word <laughs> since yesterday yes just yesterday i got it around like five percent so i'm i'm kind of lucky i'm kind of lucky i got it at five percent and right now i just come back from 0 0.1 um and i gonna farm for more so What's the reason that I'm saying that I'm gonna farm for more? It's because if you go into your backpack, once you have got the Skelly Wordle, if you would like to awaken it, that is not an issue. So if I go into awaken and I click on the purple card, it needs the epic card fragment and you can only get from dismantling the purple card. So if I click on card dismantling, if I put it in here, you can see Skelly Worker give me 400 and plus question mark. So baseline it gives me 400 and uh, different tier purple cards giving you different amount of fragment as well. So if you have watched my previous video, I got it this one here, the one that in the card album. Um, yeah, this one with draw. So for this one here, it only gives like around 200 if I click on the card more and dismantle it. So this one here is giving me like 200. So different card giving you different numbers. So if you would like to awaken it and let's see if I would like to awaken, click on awaken. It's going to cost me 50. This is causing me 50 as well. So the same number of awaken. Then the, if you're dismantling this, you get less fragment, and of course you will need to promote it as well. So it's gonna cost you a lot, a lot, a lot of fragments, and that's a lot of zany. And if if you are thinking, how could you get zany in the short time? <laughs> it's also selling the purple cut. So if you go to the black market, so as far as I say, Skelly Worker, although the market is selling like around like 1.3 million and above, but what you get as a seller, you get at a base price, and that base price is being fixed. So right now I'm just auto moving to that NPC, the black market. And you can see that there. So for the fin card baseline is selling for only 200k zenny. And for the skelly worker, it costs it actually selling for 600k. So you can get a lot of zenny, but then you have to purchase back some purple card in order to dismantle. Let's say I know that skeleton worker card here, um, 600k. If I sell it off. I sell it off, I got 600k Zanny. And what's the value if I dismantle it is 400k, uh, 400 fragment. So in that case, if I'm gonna compare with, hmm, let me just bring out the calculator. Can I bring out the calculator here? Summon calculator, summon calculator, boom. 
calculator has appeared on the screen. So let's say it's for, um, let's just click X. I would cry for days if, if I accidentally sell my cards here. <laughs> No, not for the video purpose. I, I I wouldn't sell it off. So 600k. So that is the baseline that you would get. Divide by 400 fragment. That's the baseline. It costs like around 1.5k zani per purple fragment there. And if I'm gonna sell it for the 200k, and then divide by just 200 fragment, this one here is only cost you like. 1k zany so in this case uh it also depends if there's any so can you buy back with that value can you able to make an auctions like this one here or this one here of course you can <laughs> it's some um, it's impossible that it can be that low so any metal beating cards here if there's any cards that has a value lower than 1k zany and if you are selling your let's say it's fin cut there if you are selling that and in the return any cards that can trade 1k zany and below for one fragment that is something that you can gain but it's gonna be hard because we are still early in the game itself this is Purchasing card thing is much more like to those who can hold your zany and also to the wheel. For me, you can see that I do not have zany, so it's an impossible um sorry impossible game for me at here. So this is something impossible. And what I can do is only just look into the monster cave here, monster cave. Look into which more so that give me the cards maybe i can search your card album can i search by color i guess no so maybe what i can do is really just search through here mino card here how to obtain um this one here up oh, nine 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 not not the not the walking to that place mino me me no no me no yep this one Minors. So right now my card drop progress is only 0 0.2 Still a long way to go And MVP, this this is MVP, you know So it's really, this is only 0 0.1 uh, This is a rock card This one here, coin coin 1.7 So the only thing that I can do is Use my annihilations to collect the cards so, during the XP time, I still farm for mobs that are around my level so that I can enjoy 100% of XP drop and 100% of material drop from the mobs ar around my level gap. So if I go here, can always say like the XP and material gain, follow this one here. But the card drop, it doesn't matter. So if you have a high gap with the, with the card, just use your annihilations to farm for those purple cards. That that's the only way because you do not want to waste your XP farming time on this one here. The XP farming time you can also gain some materials, can we? Yeah, we can. Yep. <laughs> so XP farming time we gain some material and XP during that time, and during the annihilations, um, I just use it on farming purple cuts so you might want to go through like which purple cuts you can one hit ko and has a higher value let's say just now i did the comparison of the two cards if i'm gonna farm for this one here of course the card drop progress bar will be hitting it will fill up in much faster sense of way because the value is lower than this galley worker uh, the scally worker but the kind of like the lucky drop rate is really random so you might want to just bet that you can get it while you're lucky rather than um following the card drop progress here but th this pity here is just like a guarantee so at least this is the only way for you to get some cards if you're f2p or just low spender and yeah 
that's all for this video here and thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe for more upcoming video bye